Hey, what's up, adventurers? Welcome back to another video. We got Ben and Ghost here ready to devour some turkey wings. Something funny is that I actually didn't know that there was only two turkey wings in this package. So as I pull this one out, I'm just kind of staring at it like, what the hell? This is just one wing. This is my first time seeing it. So I was kind of surprised too, I'm not gonna lie. The dogs were surprised. They're like, what the hell is that? I've eaten chicken wings, but not that big. So dogs probably thought it was a giant chicken wing i'm like nope no it's not i just threw it at fan i'm like okay it's kind of hard to do all this with the camera on one hand and me grabbing and opening the package with the other one right here ghost tried to leap for it i was like no don't do that and let's go ahead and cut over to where fan is actually eating his turkey wing already he's kind of like munching it using the sides definitely a big turkey this is a this is a big turkey i don't know i've never actually seen a turkey wing before this is actually my first time. I've seen a turkey leg at the carnival, but not a turkey wing. I don't know, but anyways, let's get back to the dog video because that's what we're here for, not for Animal Planet. So, we got the turkey wing and we got Ghost. I'm gonna be cutting in between both Ghost and Fen here uh, sporadically. You do. I was trying to get the best points for both dogs. So what I always try to do when I record Ghost is kind of show their muscles or show his muscles because they're so profound and his coat is so thin that it's really easy for you to kind of see his muscles without having to really try or having to position him in any way other than him just eating right so here you can see those freaking traps dude and then <laughs> we'll go to Finn and Finn looks like a slender man dog like i don't know he, he's he's hilarious he's so hairy so he really looks different right now when i record a fan i always try to get more of like the aesthetics of him maybe try to go for like his teeth because he eats way different than ghost so you'll see how ghost tries to swing his turkey wing across the entire yard whereas Finn just kind of sits in one place and works his way down so it's a lot easier for me to record Finn eating because of this so i can really get those nice teeth shots where he's kind of munching down like right now where he's just breaking those bones and really really putting in some awesome awesome work and it's it's great because you can really see how big his teeth are honestly like they're huge and he's working on them he's trying his best he kind of uses his molars here to kind of break down everything and this is exactly what you want to see when your dog eats raw food this is a perfect example of how your dog should be eating raw food he should be using his molars to break apart the bone and then digest here we're gonna see ghosts do the exact same thing this is what you want guys okay so take note of what's happening here take a look at your dog when they're eating their raw food check to see if they're doing this if they are then we're good if they're kind of just you know barreling through it and try to swallow everything you kind of you might want to slow them down a little bit this is a good example because it's not even frozen too this is this is legit like raw out of the fridge so it's very easy for them to just break it down faster and eat it faster but they're still even ghost he's still taking his time to break down the bone and this is a, a big difference in dogs that have been eating raw food for a while and maybe dogs that haven't eaten raw food and maybe when you first introduce them to it they might try to barrel through it and just swallow the whole thing be careful for that okay make sure that they're kind of chewing it ghost is already way ahead of fan here his his turkey wing is already pretty much done almost halfway done but definitely chewing everything he's breaking the bone down which is what we want break the bone down chew it some more with your in your mouth and then swallow okay this is part of the digestive system as well as breaking down the bone this is part of the process of a dog digesting their food properly the more that they break it down while they're eating it the less likely that you're gonna find maybe something in their poop or any issues with it right so definitely you want to see this you want to see the dog munching down on the bone they're putting in the work they're gonna get the results that they want because obviously he's not just swallowing it or trying to take control of the turkey and you know here i'm gonna go ahead and pet ghost um you know he has a massive head look at how big his head is 
uh, yeah, I was, I was petting Ghost. He was in the shade, so it's really hard to kind of get a good angle for him. He kind of like cornered himself in the in the corner of the in the patio, whatever. Uh, so I went over here, cut to Fan. He is in the sun, so you get a lot crispier photo right here. Fan looks amazing. Like I said, Fan is easier to record because he's very stationary. He likes to be in the sunlight, whereas Ghost always goes into the shade and kind of hides. So what is that? Look at that. That's a weird looking. Oh, that, that's the that one wasn't even uh, hard. It was actually mushy. I don't know what that is. You know, I don't I don't dissect turkeys, but and I'm not familiar with their anatomy, but it was actually a squishy bone. That wasn't a hard bone. I don't know what it is. Uh, uh, cartilage, maybe? I don't know. But we're going to swing back to Ghost, and he's over there picking his turkey wing up. <laughs> and this is what I mean, guys. You see, Ben has not moved at all. Like, this dude rotated maybe, like, five degrees to the right. Ghost has ventured off. Um, look at how wet the floor is from him dragging the turkey wing everywhere Definitely putting in work, but it's okay because that tires him more out and I'm, I'm perfectly perfectly okay With him taking this long or doing what he's doing because it's really putting in work And I also get these amazing muscle shots where his muscle just freaking almost like it's tearing from his skin like I'm surprised five pounds more and it'll probably will tear from his skin. He'll look like the Titans from Attack on Titan, right? But Fan obviously hairy, very, very hairy. Can't see any of his muscles. You can definitely see those beautiful teeth in action though. His eyes are amazing. His coat just kind of looks like silky. You can see the wind hitting it right there, and it kind of just like <laughs> it kind of looks like in the he looks like Fabio. If you guys don't know who Fabio is, look him up. Put Fabio Wind. And his hair looks exactly like Fen, except Fen has black hair. But definitely is the Fabio of the dogs. I'm just focusing here on that bone because I'm like, what are you doing, bro? You're not going to eat that bone? Guess not. He was more interested in something that happened. He heard a noise. He got up. He's trying to investigate, act like the guard dog that he's not. Uh, definitely a scaredy cat, but he still tried his best to investigate. He kind of didn't like that, that bone, though didn't he's licking it he's trying to see if he wants to eat it and he's kind of like yeah i don't i don't think so something about that was weird he just didn't want it i don't know why maybe he didn't want to go through the hassle of breaking it apart but i went ahead and sat down and we're gonna go and see some of these cuddles and pets that fan absolutely loves to grab or get and whereas ghost is over there still eating I'm making Fen sit down and enjoy some pets, you know, tell him that he did a good boy, that he's a good boy. And you, see, you can see here how much of a cuddle bear he is because I stopped petting him and he shoves his big head back on me and he's like, yo, pet me. I'm not done. I want more pets. You can see here, Fen is going to be testing the distance that he can get to ghosts. He's actually more interested in the box that I left on top of the grill. Um, I told him not to. I called him over trying to not to get that thing on the floor because it had blood on it i didn't want it to spill on him but you can really see fan's coat here and it's, it's extremely extremely soft he's like a giant koala bear or maybe not a koala like i don't know how koala's hair is but he's definitely a, a giant teddy bear and he is just beautiful ghost is still in the background trying to finish his, his tricky wings sliding it everywhere fan is staring at him like man it, one piece it, it's stupid because he still left his his, his uh, bone there too. He didn't even want to eat, finish his bone. I don't know why. But Ghost is going to actually do him the favor of finishing his bone. Because Ghost is that friend that when you're done eating and you're like, yo, anybody want my food? Ghost will pick up his hand and be like, yeah, dude, I want your food. He's that friend, you know. We all have that friend when you go out to eat and you're like, yeah, man, I'm full. He's like, yo, you going to finish that, dude? Like, no, I'm not. Yeah, good. Pass it over here, man. I'm going to finish it. And they just finish everybody's food all the time. They finish their food and finish everybody else's food. So, definitely Ghost is that guy. He <laughs> he definitely is, is a funny dog. You know, he eats a lot. And he's coming to come over here for some pets now. He's like, it's my turn, Dad. I want to get pets, too. I want you to show me some love. He got that massive, massive head. Beautiful, beautiful coat, too. It's so white and, and shiny. He has a wonderful coat, you know, when we go for walks and runs, I always get compliments on, on both of their coats. 
And people ask me like, well, what is it? What are you feeding them? And I'm like, well, I feed them raw food. Like, what, really? And you, here, we're gonna cut to real quick. Look at how tall Fen is. I'm about to buy him a chef hat and an apron so he can start grilling too, because he basically is taller than me now when he stands on that grill. Um, but yeah, yeah, a lot of people compliment on their coat, on their teeth, you know. It's definitely something that makes you feel good, right? Because you put in all this effort for the dogs and it definitely does pay off you know in the future but that's it for today guys i really hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did go ahead and pause that like button make sure you subscribe and don't forget to comment down below with any questions or if you appreciated the video that would really help the youtube algorithm and we can really get this video out there so once again nothing but peace and love from my pack tears